So now let's take a look at how to save images, go through the Cine review, and take out your card and move it onto a computer. Now I've already shown you some about saving the images, but there's a few things you can do about saving the Cine. I'm going to get a quick image here again. Unfreeze. And I'm just going to move the probe around a whole lot. I'm going to freeze that image. Now, like other ultrasound machines, it has a Cine loop review. We set this at 20 seconds earlier in the um, in an earlier lesson where I showed you how to set the 20 seconds. So I didn't use the whole 20 seconds, but if I want to scroll back through, there's a few different ways I can do it. I can use the stylus and click here, which is kind of a pain. I can use these hard keys and scroll through here, or just hit play and it'll play it from beginning to end. I can hit pause, or I can use the stylus here to scroll through the image to get to what I want. Let's say I want that image. I can hit the save key, and when it's ready, it's going to say image saved successfully. Let's say I want to save that Cine Loop review. I have to hit play and let it run. And while it's playing, if I press the save key, it's storing that whole Cine Loop video. It's going to give you the progress, and when it's done, it'll be saved to that uh, SD card and you'll have it for review. Now it saves it in the MP4 format, which is um, something that you can use for web and you can look at it on your computer with uh, QuickTime and some Windows players will show that as well. The other images, the static images, will be saved as JPEG, which can be viewed on any PC as well. Most Mac and PCs will show both formats since it's a standard web format for both. Now finally, if you want to go back and review and save from a previous exam, we can go back to the patient. We can go to the archive. We can select previous patient. We can hit review or resume to resume that. And here we have images from a previous. I can go scroll through those files by hitting next file. I can delete those images or I can close and go back. I can save and print those images from a previous exam as well. And when you're done with those, there's no need for a standard export because when you save them, it goes to the SD card. So if you want to take these images from a previous exam, open them up, and if it's a Cine loop, you'll just play that, hit save, it'll go to the SD card. If it's a standard JPEG, just hit save, it'll go to the SD card. You can also connect external flash drives like a USB flash drive or something of that sort to save those images to a separate file. Also through Ethernet. Uh, some of these have wireless capabilities and you can send it to a network through there. And we won't get into that since that's a lot more complicated. And that concludes the training on the GE Venue 40 portable tablet style ultrasound machine. Thank you for watching.